remember to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up i never went to a music school hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here karibu sana my name is rachel in today's video i will be doing a, a video that is actually inspired by my mother <laughs> So my mom was like, oh, you have to tell people how you started drumming. So out of obedience, I have decided to tell you guys exactly how I started drumming. Let's get to the video. But my journey uh, in drumming started when I was in primary. I used to play the traditional drums. I don't know if you guys know the traditional drums. Uh, the Isikuti, I think they're called Ngoma. So I used to play those drums. They have like a single main ring. Some have double, but yeah. I play the drums for the Giriyama dance. You know when you guys are going for music festivals, or you have a concert at school, or a prize giving day at school, um, definitely traditional songs have to be there. <laughs> I used to play for them. Yeah, so I started when I was in primary. I had a really nice teacher. His name is Mr. Simani. <laughs> He's the one who taught me how to play the Giriyama dance. We did it for quite some time. Uh, maybe from when I was in class 5, maybe, till class 8. I stopped playing it when I was in class 8. And then after class 8, I decided to move from the traditional drumming to go to the modern type of drum. The modern type of drum involves a bass drum, snare, hi-hat, cymbals. Yeah, so after class 8, I actually started playing the traditional, the modern, the modern drums. And I used to play it like all the time, all, every week, almost every day except Monday because I used to learn it at church. Oh yeah, so Monday and Sunday. So I used to have practice on a daily from Tuesday to almost like, to like Saturday. And I really loved it. My of course my mom was very really supportive of it. She bought me drumsticks. <laughs> so I used to play the drums. Uh, it was interesting, it was fun. I was really determined and fully into it completely. Plus I had very nice teachers who would help me with that too. And then I joined high school and you know for the Kenyan system it's four years. So I was in a boarding school. I started first three months, definitely when I was in form one. April holiday come home. I still used to play. I go back to school because we didn't have drum drum the whole all the drums at school. So what I did is when I went back to school I played the traditional drums. Yeah, so I played the traditional drums when I was in school, but when I was at home, I played the modern drums. Yeah, so the whole music festivals thing, or when we're having prize giving at school, was still there uh, with me playing the traditional drums in music. Plus, I did music as a course, as uh, they call oh, it's not a course anymore. When it's in high school, it's called that. It's not a unit. A subject it's called a subject so I did music as a subject in high school uh, yeah it was fun and very interesting I had very nice teachers also uh, but the only problem is that I stopped playing drums like I actually stopped playing drums uh, because now things started becoming very hectic I'd come home once in a while for like five days or maximum of two weeks Form 4 was coming, KCSC, Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education was also coming. But I really had to take things slowly when it comes to drums. Yeah, I took things very slowly. I was taking my time, but I became really rough at it. I was not really good in so Form 4 happened, I finished my secondary education, I, I, I feel like I lost the interest, like the passion was there. I still had a bit of the skill but not a lot of it, I was a bit rough 
when it comes to drums. Well, after my phone four, I just went into a lot of things. I was doing a lot of, a lot, a lot of, of other things, but I still had that small compassion in my heart for drums. Fast forward, I joined uni. In my first year, I was not really playing drums either, but when I was entering my second year is when now I now started playing drums again in church. Uh, it was interesting, I had to relearn. And also, again, I had very nice, I had very nice teachers to teach me how to get back on it and stuff. And right now, my life has happened. And I have learned drums. I can't say that I'm a professional, but I try. <laughs> I do try, I know the basics, I, I can play, I can play fast, slow songs, any jazz, rumba, whatever, whatever the song, rock, rock beat, any of those beats I can play. Actually, it's my mom who made me sit down and think about it. I've actually come very far with drums ever since I was in primary. It's a passion that I started with when I was in primary and I've gone on with it with the support of my parents also because you know the basic tool for a drummer is drumsticks. <laughs> so you need you need your sticks. So yeah, my parents always bought me sticks, which I am grateful for. And right now, that's when I just started. I, I still used to Google a lot of drum videos on YouTube. I still do Google drum videos. I see small kids playing drums and I get inspired and I look at myself and I'm like, what have you done with your drum life? But I'm so grateful because I still have a lot of things. Um, I wouldn't want to compare myself with other people. But what should I say about all this? All this, I've just learned that there's this one thing about you that you have that you should not ignore uh, and just keep at it. Remain determined to learn. That's one thing for sure, especially when you're, at, you're in your high school and primary, always remain determined to learn drums. Oh, also, I just remembered, you know, another struggle that is there with drums is that you have to buy the drum kit. You know, it's, I think I've said this before in my videos, it, you, it's not like a keyboard or a saxophone or a violin where all you have to do is to buy the violin. When it comes to drums, you have to buy the hi-hat, you have to buy the snare, you have to buy the bass drum, you have to buy the cymbals, you know, or find a place where you can get them. You can't, it's pretty hard uh, for you to have all the drum kits in your house, it's very rare, but for you to have drumsticks, maybe to have keys, brushes, you know, things that are more affordable then it's really possible for you. I still do love drums. I really, really, really do love drums. It's, it's a lot. You know, everything has its own struggles, but if you love something, you'll just keep at it and find a way to keep going on with it. Yeah, and also having trainers who actually believe in you. Um, my trainers were Tito, Pastor Benjamin, right now he's a pastor, Festus, yeah, I've had a lot of people, Lenny, <laughs> a number of people who've helped me play drums, rather, helped me learn drums, which I am grateful because they never actually charged me for it. Yeah, that's one thing I have to say is a big one for me. I never went to a music school. Yeah, oh yeah, and definitely my primary teacher, Mr. Simani. <laughs> All those people who used to help me play the traditional drums, let me not forget them, those ones. Yeah, so right now I can actually still play traditional drums. Yeah. And I just like to give advice to probably someone who wants to start playing drums, you're just a beginner and all. I just want to encourage you that you have to be consistent, you understand? Because you can get rough, so if you start playing drums, uh, you start learning, don't stop, keep at it. You never stop learning. So you just have to keep, keep learning. <laughs> you have to keep learning drums on a daily, if you can play it on a daily, keep playing, don't stop. Because the moment you stop, you actually get rough and you, sometimes you can actually forget. Especially if you're a beginner, 
it's easier for you to forget because you're not paid a lot. You get nice teachers. YouTube helps a lot, but I also like having personal trainers, like people who I can look up to and can teach me. Um, what can we say about it? Mentors? Yeah. So you can get yourself mentors who can help you. Uh, teach you stuff about drums also You can go to a music school. It's very important. I think that you would learn more Sight reading in drums something that I never really learned. I learned it when I was in high school because I was doing music as a subject But go to a music school. It will help you to be a more professional drummer Than some of us if you can go to a music school go to a music school yeah, it will be really, really good for you. Another thing is that uh, practice in the house, even if you don't have the drum, the whole drum set or the drum kit, you can just practice in your house, you know? Take your pillow, like this one, like this pillow, I'm sure you guys can see the pillow. Take your drumsticks and hit that pillow. Yeah, it will help you to increase your speed, uh, some people will say that you're making noise, so try to reach in your room where you can't make noise for everyone. Yeah, practice. Practice when you're in the house, especially with your sticks. It's pretty easy. There's so many techniques that you can learn without actually having drumsticks around you. You can learn and it can help you with your speed because you'll notice that when you start drumming, your hands are very stiff which it's something that you have to break, you have to break the stiffness. <laughs> so practice in the house, whether you have a drum kit or not, you can buy a snare, let's start at that. A basic drum kit has five drums. It has the snare, the hi-hat, the bass drum, and the three tones. The cymbals don't really count. Like you can actually have a hundred cymbals, but as long as you have bass drum, one bass drum, one hi-hat, one snare, and the three toms, it still considers as a five-piece drum kit. So yeah, you can just start at it, and it will really, really help you. Don't stop playing drums. Don't give yourself that gap. I gave myself that gap of, I feel like it was a four-year gap. And it really made me forget a lot when it comes to drumming. It made me start from beginner level. Hey, you guys, it's not a good feeling. Just keep at it. Every time you get the opportunity, make sure you have your sticks. Even when they break, buy new ones. Yeah, try to buy as many drumming instruments you can buy. Have mentors. Let it be something that you love and have a passion for so that you won't have to forget about it or that passion. And you know what, your gift will definitely speak for you. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Oh.